Uh, in Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6, the Bible makes it clear and tells or tells parents, you know, to train up a child the way they should grow. And when they grow, they will not depart from it. You know. Now that that brief statement is very important, you know, especially if you're looking at some of the things you see now here in the world where young children as young as the age of eight nine are committing suicide you know be having so many issues that um was not was not um, a thing of the past or even pre the, the previous generations you, you know so it's it's very important that we uh, parents really focus on that you know um The spirit of children is weak, you know, I say the spirit. The kind of protection or the spirit, it's you not know, that the spirit of, of, of a child is easy to be. It's easy for the enemy to try to take control of. So a lot of children depend really even from the security provided to them from their parents, even spiritually, you know, but <clears throat> that scripture there is very important because you see when parents make up their mind and decide to submit to what the word of God has put there intentionally to make sure that the children that are coming up have been paired have been connected you know um, to him or to, to the Holy Spirit it's 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 easier for him to take over you see until you you bring you introduce or bring close a person to god sometimes it's sometimes it's it, it's it becomes an issue because uh, it's 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 god does not override the will of anybody he doesn't override the will of anybody so when he says um Train up the train up the child the way they should go, and when they grow, they will not depart from the ways you have trained them up in. It's very important. Hmm? And in, if you are a student of the Bible, you are aware, you know, by the scriptures that the angels of the children they are constantly in the presence of the Father. The angels of children. If um, if you are talking about some of the busiest angels. You are talking about some of the busiest angels who are doing, who work, um, <clears throat> who are working with God. Those angels, a lot of them are the angels of children who are constantly in the, in the face, who are constantly in the presence of the Father. It's very important. You know, a lot of parents think when I put them in their school, uh, everything is done, they'll be taken care of. No. A lot of that teaching is supposed to come from the house because even going there in the school there's a lot of things over there some there are all sorts of kids they go and face they go and meet all over there there are a lot of things they talk about over there that you are not aware of if you turn up the, the child the way they should go is you see you are going to you are going to see the benefits you know <clears throat> because one of the things that is happening now is a lot of the kids now are being exposed to a lot of things because they have access to internet. You know, they have access to internet. Some of us, we, we, we didn't see what the internet was till we were so grown. We were around 17, 18, 19 years before we saw what the internet was. And even that, it, did, it took certain times before we, act, we even saw what social media was. It took we were, some of us were around 20, 25 before we actually felt what social media was. Some of these kids are seven, eight, nine, are, inter are already interacting with social media. They are seeing everything. The, the, the videos are endless. They can just keep scrolling through. So they are more at risk now. They are more at risk. And the enemy is also using the internet to destroy, corrupt, and do all sorts of things. The gospel is going to get to the masses through the internet. It's, a, it's an information superhighway. But the enemy too 
is using the internet to destroy a lot of children. Hmm? So train up the child the way they should grow is very crucial. Teach them to teach them to call on the name of Jesus when they are afraid. Hmm? Teach children, teach your children to call on the name of Jesus every time they are afraid of anything. Teach them the name of Jesus. Hmm? A lot of parents are not doing this. And some of the people ask, come, come up with question. Well, I, I took her to, to the boarding house and now she's, she's into this. She, he, she's into that. Now she's, she's into lesbianism. She's into this. Did you put the core foundation there? Train up the child the way they should grow. So that when you are not around them, for whatever reason, because of what you've taught them, because of that belief you have put in them. Look, the presence of God will be there. They will know if you have trained them the way they are supposed to grow. They will know how to keep their angels around them to avert destruction. Hmm? To form a, 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 some kind of fire wall, a hedge of fire around them to avert destruction. Hmm? Very important. Even if you are not able to pray for whatever reason as a parent, because you have put, you have taught them, trained them to to call on the name of Jesus when they are afraid, and especially a lot of kids, a lot of kids have a lot of fears. They have a lot of fears that they cannot even discuss with their parents. A lot of them, they don't, they they, are, they, are, they have a lot of fears that they don't discuss with anybody. They keep it to themselves. Hmm? Train them up in the name in the way they should grow. Teach them how to call on the name of Jesus when they are afraid. Very important. Teach them to call on the name of Jesus when they need anything. Yeah. Teach them to call on the name of Jesus when they when they are in lack, when they need something. Teach them. Teach them to call on the name of Jesus when they are in lack. Teach them to call on the name of Jesus. When they are afraid, especially. Teach them to call on the name of Jesus when things are not going a certain way, when things are not moving the way they want it. Teach them to call on the name of Jesus. Very important. A lot of parents are not doing this. Another sad thing is a lot of parents to have gotten into this habit of keeping explicit content. When I say explicit content, you know what I'm talking about. The naughty stuff on your phone. And you go to bed, you sleep, you, 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 you doze off. Your kids will always come and play with your phone. So if you have those kind of things sitting there on the phone, what are you doing? You yourself have used your hands. Huh? You have become the architect of your own destruction. It's very important that some people understand this. Listen, the real, the, the, the real time you see the benefits of putting... Um, <clears throat> Of investing in this thing that the Bible tells us to teach the child the way they should grow. The, way, the real place you see that benefit is when they go to the boarding house. Why? Because they have some kind of support system. Their belief system is different from what people are saying. And because you have trained them, uh, you've taught them the way they should grow, you've taught them some Jesus songs, you've taught them about who Jesus is, what he does not want, what he does not like. You've taught, taught them to pray and call on the name of Jesus when they are in lack, when they are in need, when they are afraid. That faith in that child alone becomes some, becomes a, um, becomes some kind of firewall around that child. So when there's somebody who is coming to destroy that child, getting close to her, that presence will drive that whoever, wayward child that is. Very important. A lot of believers have not understood the, the kind of enemy we are dealing with. A lot of believers have not understood it. If believers have, not, have understood the kind of enemy we are dealing with, there are certain things we will not slack on. When You see, and if you've been on this channel, I've said it several times, that the devil hates marriage. He hates marriage with a passion. So if he tries to destroy the husband and it doesn't work, you try to destroy the wife. If he doesn't succeed with the wife, he will come through the children. And a lot of parents have neglected that scripture that is telling you to train up the child the way the child is supposed to grow. A lot. This is part one, not part two.